Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in return with having. But at the same time, we are also looking at how do we partner in life. Do we partner in business? Do we partner for a profession? Do we network to sell ourselves? Do we network to make business? Do we do business development? Do we do anything at all that helps us to make a living? In other words, are you a networker? If you're not a networker, you might have to always use an online job profile or a recruiter to get you a new job, or maybe you're just working for a, a temp agency and that's fine. But here's what I'm going to say to you. What I'm going to say to you is that you may not be networking correctly for your private time. And if you're not working pr networking privately, and if you're not working correctly privately, then you're not going to find the right networker for your private life and your private time. Do you get what I mean? Because what I'm going to ask you is, who is your man? The question should be carefully considered because you might be with a bunch of players and you might enjoy flirting with people in your community if you're a good bee charmer who actually sells bee honey. But the truth is that that little term can be used for a lot of things. It's sort of an old kind of concept saying that that person's a good talker and that person sells a lot of their you-know-what. But the reality is that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about today is the ability to listen to the Lord and actually channel in a way that doesn't harm people. We're also talking about whether or not you have selected the right partner to live your life with, or did you go based on looks, did you go based on a hot experience, did you go based on the desire to take someone from someone else, or did you go based on God's principles? See, if you went based on God's principles, then you're equally yoked with the person that you're with. If you went based on God's principles, then you asked God whether or not that player was the right person to even play with. If you didn't go based on God's principles, then you're probably really at risk because the truth is that any player can walk away from you at any day. And they can say all the right things, they can do all the right things, but they could be straight out a profiler or a policeman trying to play with you. And what we know about technology today is that technology is used to abuse people today. Technology companies can shut things off on you without giving you a chance to know why or when they're doing it. Technology companies can interfere with you, not even giving you your messages, and yet you're paying for it. Technology companies can be used by police officers to monitor you, and you don't even know they're doing it. And technically, it's an immoral and illegal act to be listening to someone's conversation and thinking you're a part of their relationships. In life, we have moments of time to see what's real. A man just drove by in a motorcycle with a orange frog hat on, but that's sort of funny to me. In life, we have moments of time to talk about truth, and whether or not his wife likes that is another thing we have to have proof of. In life, I can tell you that I bought a marvelous dragon, blue dragon costume. It wasn't because I wanted to be what's called a Furby in life, and it wasn't because I wanted to go to some sort of play event that they do for comics and anime in life. It was because I knew that the woman that I loved had two young children who might eventually have a birthday party and might be able to do something. But you know what I did? I earned that costume. I designed that costume to a point and openly ordered it from overseas for a project I was working on. And because I completed that project and because that project didn't have a lot of money to pay me as a not-for-profit, I earned that costume for me.